the graphics card. It's a pretty awesome tool for gaming. It can be a useful tool for video production, even for crypto mining. But did you know that you can also use it to help research and fight against the novel coronavirus? In fact, you can easily link up your own gaming PC and join a team of over 400,000 people around the world with a distributed computing project, Fighting for Good, that is now more powerful than the world's top seven supercomputers combined. Folding at Home was founded back in October 2000 at Stanford University, and it was specifically designed for disease research. Historically, it's been targeted at researching things like cancer, ALS, and Parkinson's. The software works on Linux, Mac OS, or Windows, and it uses the spare CPU and GPU cycles of thousands of computers around the world to simulate protein folding and computational drug design. It's complicated stuff, but basically, it uses computer simulations to understand a protein's moving parts. And this takes billions of calculations. Some of the processes that we're interested in studying related to antibiotic resistance, if I was to try to you know, simulate them on my really powerful MacBook Pro, it would take something like 500 years of computer time. Once scientists have a firm grasp on how atoms move and interact within a protein, then they can venture closer to discovering drugs to treat it. For the last few weeks though, the Folding at Home team has refocused its efforts into creating GPU workloads that are designed to help research and fight against COVID-19. Installing Folding at Home on your computer is pretty simple. On Linux, it's a little less straightforward, so I'm gonna walk you through how to get it set up on Linux and then talk about a few tips that might help you across whatever operating system you're folding on. Linux users have their choice of installing via RPM or deb files. And now there's three listed on the Folding at Home website, but you'll need the top two to get things running. That is the FAH Control and FAH Client. FAH Viewer is optional, but it's a pretty neat visualizer that actually shows the folding in action. So on Linux, once you've installed at least the FAH Control and FAH Client packages, you can simply search for FAH in your applications and then fire up FAH Control. Folding at Home is going to be compatible with pretty much any NVIDIA or AMD Radeon card. However, you may run into a problem where you don't see your GPU on the Folding at Home client. Here's what you need to do if that happens. Click the Configure button and then browse over to the Expert tab. And you may notice that under Expert Client Options, you'll see GPU False. All you need to do is change that to True and then hit Save. After that, open your configuration back up and click the Slots tab. This will allow you to add additional CPUs and GPUs to the client. You don't need to mess with any of the values, just click the checkbox next to GPU. But if it still doesn't show up, you might need to install either CUDA or OpenGL support onto your system. Your mileage may vary, of course, but for me, since I'm using NVIDIA, it was just a simple matter of searching my package manager for CUDA and then installing the latest version. Once that's done, do a quick reboot just to be safe and then go through adding the GPU via that slot tab one more time and you should be good to go. You can access the extended functionality of Folding at Home via the client, but if you want to just get the job done and have kind of a nice interface while it's working, you can use the browser version. Just fire up your browser and type in client dot folding at home dot org. Here you'll see a drop down box that's called I support research fighting. And if you leave that on any disease, then any workload that your GPU is working on is automatically going to be dedicated to the coronavirus project. And I want to take an opportunity to give my very appreciative thanks to Team Linux for Everyone who is quickly climbing up the ranks. If you want to join our team, you can enter team number 240869. But honestly, it doesn't matter what team you join, it only matters that you are contributing your GPU compute power to the project. 
Now, someday this coronavirus pandemic is going to be behind us, but Folding at Home will remain a really important project for researching disease that affects millions of people around the world. So keep folding, keep fighting, and stay positive. Now, I've only covered the basics, but it should be enough to get you up and running. And if you have any questions whatsoever, please drop something in the comments and I will try my best to answer it for you. I'll talk to you guys soon. And now more than ever, please take care and take care of each other. Bye.